Hey there, I'm going to cover several AI tools you can use to generate your next PowerPoint slide deck. Having to come up with content, range your pictures, move text boxes, that's all in the past. These are some really neat tools, both free and paid, that you can use to make your next PowerPoint look flawless. I'm Lindsay and I cover instructional design, e-learning development, and all things online teaching and learning. All right, first up is Gamma. I'm on the free version with Gamma. So this is just Gamma.app or you can search for Gamma AI. It's gonna come right up. This was recommended to me, uh, I think by a couple people actually, and it's really interesting. So I'll show you what I did here. Um, I do have this Google Doc that's shared in my um, website. So if you want this, you can have this. It has links and summaries of everything. I got my prompt there that I used. So I'm gonna show you what I created. So to me, Gamma seems like a really robust, mature product, which is pretty rare for AI tools. It has a lot of features. It does a lot for you. So what I'm going to do is generate from a one line prompt. Okay. So select that and putting my prompt in here. You can choose how long you want it to be. I'm going to keep things simple here and just make it four cards. That means four slides. It also does websites and documents as well. The first thing it's going to do is generate an outline for you. That looks fine. Now you can see down here, it says continue and it says 40 credits. On the bottom left here, you can see I've got 360 credits remaining. So if you're on the free plan, Gamma does this weird thing where it's free, but you get so many credits and depending on what you wanna do in Gamma, it charges you those credits. And there's paid versions as well. We don't have to worry about this, but that's how the free version works here. So I'm fine with that. I'm gonna hit continue. Next, it's asking me to choose a theme. All the themes are pretty, it's very, Canva like, which I'll talk about in a little while. Um, see, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the dark background today. Looks great. All right, so you pick a theme that you like. You can limit them down here below if you wanna see different kinds of themes. I'll hit generate. Now, this did take a little while to generate, so see how fast it goes. It's going very quickly today. It's part of the reason I only did a, a handful of cards. I was really impressed by what it created. And it even asks you, you know, how is this? Yeah, it looks great. Um, this is ready to go. I can download this on the free version. If I download this, it's gonna have gamma watermarks on it. I can present it right now. So if you wanna share this link with someone, you can. And that's it, it's ready to go. I was really impressed with the content it spewed out. This guy, I'm not super impressed with him. He's a little creepy, <laughs> but overall, I thought the images were great. Her glasses look a little weird there. <laughs> and the content is great. And my favorite bit is that it puts my name on here as the author. Right, I'm the author. I typed in one sentence and yeah, I created this PowerPoint. You're welcome world. <laughs> but I was really impressed again by what this um, came up with. And um, you can really go in depth into editing this PowerPoint as well. So here's, um, some options for each slide. If you select a slide, you can choose some of the options here on the right hand side, or you can ask it to do something else. There's other options here as well. You can choose a different smart layout, add in blocks, add images, media. Again, really robust product that does an awful lot. And I mean, you don't have to create PowerPoints anymore. <laughs> One of the most tedious things about PowerPoints is choosing the layouts, figuring out the content, figuring out how to make the content brief enough for a PowerPoint. Gamma is going to do that for you. So I highly recommend Gamma. Again, this is the free version. Otherwise, about $8 to $15 a month. If you are a Google Slides user, there is an AI tool for that, of course. Um, I was recommended Plus AI by a coworker. This is an extension that you add on Google Slides. It's not free. There's a seven day trial and then it's about $10 a month after that. And they have different levels um, depending on what you want to do with the tool. But this deck here, I created entirely with this plugin. I chose the theme kind of like Gamma and then it filled in the slides for me. You can see the agenda here. So it's quite the robust agenda for a 13 slide <laughs> slide deck, but I'll show you how it works. You pop up here to extensions, find plus AI, add in new presentation. I don't think this one is too fast either. Gamma did pretty well, but kind of depends maybe on how, how many folks are using it at once. You can choose to upload a file if you have something existing you want turned into a PowerPoint. 
you can get really nitty gritty, go slide by slide, or you can put in a prompt. So similarly, I put in a prompt for this earlier. And for the example that I provided earlier, I didn't choose what type of presentation. I'm gonna call this a training. And I made it into kind of some sort of like weird pitch deck, which I was not super impressed about. Um, you can leave this checked or not. The plus tips are little graphics it adds that give you some tips on how to use this tool when you're editing your slide deck. So I'm just gonna go ahead and generate and see what it comes up with. So that'll take a few moments. If you do choose to do the seven day trial, you do have to provide a credit card and um, you have to remember to cancel before it uh, charges you. Okay. So again, if it's providing me with an outline here, outline looks fine. It's including an interactive exercise. That sounds great. As well as a quiz and discussion. Sure. Let's generate those slides. You can choose a theme here. Um, I'll just go with a default hit next. Now it's going to take some time to generate the presentation. It will take a minute. If I recall correctly, it took several minutes. Okay, my slides are generated. It looks an awful lot like the um, other slide deck it generated for me earlier when I was testing out this tool. I can ask you to rate it. Let's take a look here. Again, the agenda is very robust. It has a lot of content here that I did not just have to write. It feels a little flowery. This is crucial for inclusive education where diversity is embraced. Yeah, I don't know about that language here. Um, this looks like it'd be a little bit too small if I were presenting this on a big screen. This is not the most attractive slide here. Now, if you're not happy with the slide, it does give you options here to edit this um, deck. So it'll pop open a little uh, sidebar on the right here. And similar to Gamma, you can select a slide, choose a different layout, you can edit the content. I can see it's going a little slow today, but yes, yeah, so you can insert, rewrite, remix, so if like a different format basically, or change the design altogether or edit the design. So it's nice that this is not the most robust slide deck AI tool, but you can get really nitty gritty with like selecting the text and say, add more detail. Let's see how that works. So it's one sentence now, let's have it add some more detail. Whoa, added a lot more detail. Yeah, not bad. So that's just a little sample of how this works. Again, the remix, you can change the layouts if you want to. Um, I think Gamma did a much better job of um, creating the um, slide deck that I had. It looks like, did it tag this onto, I think it tagged it onto my other slide deck. Wait a minute, I got two slide decks here. Interesting. Okay. So apparently I learned something about, um, about plus AI here. You have to probably create a new presentation and then use the plugin. If you add a, if you try to create a new presentation with plus AI, it's not going to automatically create a new slide deck. So very interesting. That's probably why that first slide deck, deck looked very familiar to me. This one looks different. Interesting. And I will note some of the stock images are, are pretty great. Oh, here's an example of the plus tips. Um, these are things on how to use the tool and also how to present this PowerPoint a little bit better. So not bad. Oh, this is it's supposed to be a quiz and accessibility, but it's gone ahead and just left it to me to write in the questions. So all right, thanks a lot, Plus AI. Let's move on. Last tool I'm checking out is Canva. I do have um, the free version open here. Uh, remember there's a free version of Canva and a paid. If you use the free version, you have limited access to some tools and if it uses any uh, illustrations or graphics that you need to pay for, you can just pay for those a la carte if that's something you wanna do. All right, so from this homepage here, you have to find the magic studio. Canva's been around for a long time. Everyone loves Canva. They're adding an AI. It's coming along, but it's still in beta. But let's check it out really quick here. Let's look at magic design for presentations. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Let's try this magic design here. What it does is it kind of creates like these two slides here on magic design. And then it points you over here where you need to put in your prompt. So I'm going to put in the same one I've been using. A view of accessibility for e-learning design. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to take a moment to think about my prompt and then offer some suggestions. All right, so here. 
Nothing changes here. You have to see these little tiny slides over here. Click on one of these and you can preview all of the slides. So let's go ahead and apply all seven pages. Uh, you can see Canva actually gives me 10 credits. Now I guess they've changed their pricing since I last used a free version. Um, and now I've got this full-fledged PowerPoint here. You can go through each slide, see how it looks. I love that it makes up these quotes from imaginary people, like what's up with that? The stock images it chooses are pretty good. But you can see overall the content is really vague. This is more like a um, outline of a PowerPoint than a full-fledged PowerPoint. The design is fine. I probably wouldn't choose brown. That's not really for me, but it does fine. <laughs> so if you're a really big Canva user and you can't imagine living without Canva, AI might be a nice thing to try out as far as having it generate an overview deck for you, but you're going to have to do a lot of editing with this one and you're going to have to create the content yourself for the most point, for the most part. All right, last but not least, if you haven't heard of this tool, you should try it out. There is an AI for that. I will note that when I searched for PowerPoints or slide decks, none of the tools I tried today showed up in the list. So, I mean, there's just like, there's an overwhelming number of AI tools out there. But what I thought was really fun is that there's a job impact index on there's an AI for that. So you see communications managers are being really impacted. So of course I had to go and find the instructional designer page. Apparently only 15% of our work is going to be impacted by AI. I would bet it's probably going to be a little bit more than that. But my favorite part about this page is this guy here. If you look at him, obviously he's a, an image generated by AI. If you don't read the little message there, he looks very focused on his work. But let's look a little bit closer here. He's got a pen in each hand and he's drawing with both at once. Listen, I'm not gonna be able to draw with a pen in each hand doing both at once. If that's what I have to do to stay competitive with AI, I guess AI is going to take my job. So with that, I will leave you. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you've got more suggestions for AI tools for creating presentations, slide decks, PowerPoints, especially if you have any suggestions for plugins at ChatGPT, I'm hoping to get a paid version of my own pretty soon so I can actually use those plugins. In any case, let me know what you thought. If you try out anything that I shared with you today, I would love to hear about it.